was the essence of his teaching. He practiced this very honestly. Even at the age of 95, people who saw him were surprised that he was so neatly and carefully dressed. He was. I wish you all the best on this Engineers Day. Happy, happy Engineers Day to all of you. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Dr. Prabhat Kumar Kumar Garu, the 
Zatma and Marang, director of uh, Bhavani. Etavat Kirasi Station at Kalpakam, which would be the main source for the future, main energy source for the future. Immediately after 20, 30 years, when the natural gases, natural oils are exhausted, that is very close to us. So Vishwas Rayakaru addressed the local irrigation problem and he made himself a very important engineer and he was greatly useful to the entire part of South India. That is how he has, he has, not, he has not done any research in going to America or someplace or someplace or high end thing. He has done a simple uh, local, he has addressed a local problem of on the irrigation. So he has, he was successfully completed it, for which he was awarded Bharata Ratra. Yes, yes. Uh, normally institutions or the faculty members or sometimes students also, yes, uh, the, I mean, put a big claim for the big equipment to do the research. Yes, they want money first. They want big equipment for the research. They want big things to do research. But these people, Vishwasraya Garu, another man from the same state, uh, C.V. Raman, they, yeah, they, they have reached the highest place in the world level, at the world level, with the simplest equipment and uh, they have used. Even C.V. Raman, who got the Nobel Prize, uh, yes, he has used a very, 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 very simple uh, instrument for uh, yes, it was, it, he, he, he got the Nobel Prize. So that is another thing we have to remember on, on this day. His same Mokshipatnam Vishwasraya also, she has, he has used his knowledge, he has used his simple techniques to address the major problems of, the, uh, uh, of that uh, area. This is for, for which he, he was awarded a big, the, the biggest award of the, this country. So these are the things I think as young engineers and the future engineers and builders of this nation and builders of this world, you have to remember these two, three, four things. One is you should be physically fit. The second thing is you have to see the local problems and try to address uh, along with your faculty members. And third thing is don't, don't look for the big equipment and for, for big money. Uh, yeah, though it is happening in America and other countries, here yeah, you can do lots of things with the smaller, uh, the smaller equipment also if you have a better ideas. And in conclusion, I can say one thing. Yeah, if you if 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 you study history or people uh, you look into the history of this world or civilization, people look at the history of kings. History and the rise and fall of many kingdoms and this and uh, many eras and all these things. But I see the history of civilization is nothing but the history of technocrats. Yes, if we are using this mic not because of any king, it is because of a technocrat. We are, we are using the light, it is because of the, not by any king or a, uh, or a minister, it is because of sacrifice of some technocrat. So this is the, the very history, is, the history of civilization is nothing but the history of technocrats. As simple as that. People perceive it, different. normally people perceive it differently. It is a history of kings. It is the fall and rise of the kingdom. This is how people perceive as the history. But I feel and the, the real story of human civilization is, the real history is history of uh, many technocrats and sacrifice of many technocrats. This is where you are, this is what you have to do it for the future. Because scientists, they discover inventor, invent principles but you have to make uh, use those principles, uh, taking the cost effect to way and taking it to the people, taking it to the utility level. So this is what an important role you have to play. I hope and I wish that uh, yes, you as engineers should grow with the true spirits of engineers and uh, contribute your best to this society and this country. Thank you.
Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. This institution which I have been hearing for quite some time, I had a very great desire to visit to this place. A man, he has created so many institutions, they have become legendary. And the institutions which has done so very well in the field of education that it has produced great experts in human being and professionals almost in every field of activities. I have been told that in this institution focus is not necessarily on the education alone, but on personality development, development of the human traits and human qualities. And that's why I'm extremely grateful to be here and extremely humbled to receive the award which has been given to me today. Thank you very much, a very, very big thanks to you. You have to be careful in your decision making, your choices, your options. Engineers have got a quality. They find solutions. For every problem, for every problem, there is number of solutions. You have to choose. You have to choose what is the best, what is economical, but much more than what is sustainable. And there the difference comes between people and people and engineers and engineers in the thinking process. The great Vishwasharya was a thinker who could do so many things which are supporting sustainability. For example, dams or some of the engineering products which he has brought, they're all towards sustainability. Taking sustainability, human comfort has been brought into picture. One thing I just want to say, I just want to give a definition, a difference between a graduate and a and this occasion of Gilles Day. And before that, I just want to, in my life, I remember one word from our director, Sir, Chair Master Sari. He used to tell one word in the room, that is the customer to the room, is to the room and drive. The same thing, the same kind of atmosphere I got from Harvey. I've seen this also you tell. You just love the work, you just make interest on the work. If you're not interested, you just step into some other group. That's only he will suggest and he will support the employees like that. And very proud to say that as the first batch engineering for Harmony recruited in 2005. And here, this is a very typical occasion. After 2003, when I received the best event award of 2008 exam, I have again come here for this kind of occasion. And here I am having two differences. One is my beloved team is here, and one of my best and first. Colleague who met in Kalpaka, Mr. Dairpa, he is also there now. On this occasion, I just want to share one thing. Whether the people, there are so much difference as strength has come from first of the suppose, uh, from almost 10 years. People doesn't want engineers, they want graduates. What is the difference between graduates and engineers? Thank you.